Hello, best friend, and welcome, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having the most incredible day. This is the first time you're watching my channel. My name is Sebastian, and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do pop culture videos every single day, honey. So if you're looking for a new messy best friend, well, girl, you have found me. So grab a snack and a drink. Hit that subscribe button. I would be very grateful. You guys, for my drink today... It's giving, no thank you. So it's this Olipop thing. Listen, a lot of people love it. Um, it's a probiotic drink. It tastes, it says a new kind of soda. It doesn't taste horrible, okay? Doesn't taste horrible, but this is a crisp apple one. I think it's because I'm not used to the probiotic taste that it's a little bit not for me, but I could definitely see myself getting into it. It's 50 calories, it's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. It's seven carb and it's uh, like like 10, 10, 10 sugar. So it's not great, but it's, it's a lot better for you. And like I said, it's probiotic. So I mean, I guess like if I'm in a little bit of a rush, bitch, I'll just drink one. But yeah, I um, just wanted to share that drink with you guys because I'm always trying to put you guys on to different things. Um, You guys, so Justin Timberlake made his come back and girl it is giving it's oh so quiet shh shh it's oh so still shh shh bitch it looked like he was fucking performing at a dam uh, uh, I don't know, girl. You, you know, when, when nuns, they go on the vow of silence. And you know, I saw that on Sister Act. I don't know if it's a real thing, but you know, they, they're like, vow of silence for the rest of the day. You can't talk. I don't know if he did that to that. I mean, mm, mm. girl, he was trying so hard, bitch. I'll tell you something. I'll tell you something. You know, I have a feeling that this is just going to continue. So I'm going to show you guys a little bit of the performance. You guys can see what I'm talking about. But it is really giving like, I feel like, you know that movie, um, what is it called? That you can't talk or that if you make a sound, the aliens will come to you. You know, you know what I mean? Like, shh, you know, you know. Okay. All right. Look at this. He's trying so hard to get the people to dance, bitch. Everybody is standing still, girl. He's like, come on, people, clap your fucking hands. Nobody's clapping their hands, boo. You know why? It's giving It's giving Britney Army. It's giving the woman in me. It's giving you're done. It's giving you're canceled. It's giving you're not a gentleman. You should have damn apologized. It's giving I understand that you can't make people apologize, but sometimes you have to be a decent person and say I'm so sorry, even though you don't fucking mean it, okay? You can fucking lie, but at least fucking be a gentleman about it, okay? So you know what, girl? You could you could do you could do this for five hours straight, bitch, and people are gonna be like, <laughs> no, no, <laughs> okay. You know what I mean? So, what does this look like? What does this look like for him? I mean, honestly, if this is any indication of his big comeback, girl, it is giving silence of the lambs, bitch. Because I just don't understand how he's gonna go from this. DC, check out my khakis. Like, listen, I, I have never been a huge Justin fan, right? But I, I will tell you that, you know, I, back in the day, you know, when he was relevant, like, there was, there was times where, you know, I was like, oh, you know, he's a good performer. Obviously, you know, he is like the copy and paste version of Michael Jackson. And that is the truth. I mean... Listen, I when when his first song came out, I just want to love you, whatever it's called. He was lit the hat, everything was just like it, it's sort of like he stayed up all night watching Michael Jackson videos and literally just said, Okay, I'm gonna do that. Yeah, that, that sounds good. Mm -hmm. It's like it's like when you copy in a test, you know, and, and like you're like change it, to, you know, you you and your friend are copying out to you, bitch, change the, the fucking answers at least for a couple of things, and you write everything the same, you know. So there's one time. I never cheat on a test. I never cheat on a test, never, ever, ever. But there was this test that I was just like, girl, I just, I can't do this. And one of my friends, right, she was a senior. She was the, the teacher's aide or whatever it's called. So she knew the answers to a test, right? And so I, I will never forget it. Um, it was, it was, I think it was math. I'm pretty sure it was math. But it was like ABC, you know, like multiple whatever choice, right? So 
I remember that she told me the day before, she's like, are you prepared for this test? Because this is a pretty big test. And I was like, I'm honestly, I'm not. They, they knew my struggles, you know? So she was like, okay, um, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and help you. Like if you're stuck, just kind of like may, make an eye and I'll, and I'll help you. Like it was like her last week of high school. Like she was so over it. She didn't really care. And she was a really, you know, she was a good friend though. She knew how much I struggled, bitch. So I just remember like, we made this thing like if she did this it's a if she did like you know this is b if she did if she fixed her like glasses or you know like if she took out something from her purse it's c something like that and i had to just like you know do the numbers you know like you know number five you know <laughs> and i just remember like i i got so nervous like i I'm not, you know, I'm never, I've never been a cheater. I don't like lying. I don't, I don't like cheating. And the reason is because I have, like you just heard, I have this uncontrollable laugh when I get nervous. So I just remember like being there and like the only thing right I got was like the spelling of my name and the date. Because I mean, she could have given me a fucking Chinese, Japanese, Russian, you know, test. It I would have been the same thing to me. I didn't understand a damn thing that was on there. So I was like, fuck, okay. So what I did was, I was just like, you know, I started to relax and I was like, Sebastian, don't, you know, don't, don't cheat. You know, I, I always thought of like, you know, my family finding out like, you know, a huge deal in my head. So I just remember sitting there and I was like, oh my God, okay. Nope, one, nope, nope, don't understand that. Two, don't understand that. Three, nope, four, five, six, seven. It was like a 20 question test. I know, and like classmates, every time they would like write, like guess a, or, you know, fill out a problem, they'd be like, yes. Yes, I'm just like, what? And I just saw everyone like writing it. And I was just literally, and my friend was like looking at me because we were being timed. She was like looking at me like, come on. So I was like, okay, mind you, we had like maybe 30 minutes. This was 20 minutes in. I, I Then I was like, okay, I have literally no choice. So I, I did this. And she looked at me like, you're just on the number one. <laughs> like we have like five minutes left and you're at number one. Cause I really tried to figure out myself, girl. And you know what? Like, I could not look up. Like, she was trying so hard to give me the, the answer. She would be like, you know, fixing her glasses, like trying to take, you know, and I, I just, I, I couldn't, like, I forgot everything. So honestly, I just literally, I did like, God, eeny, meeny, miny, mo, eeny, meeny, miny, mo, because I could not, I felt like if I looked up, I felt like the teacher was going to look at me. She was going to see what we were doing. Then, you know, she was going to fuck up her last week in high school. She was not going to be able to graduate. Her college career was going to be over. I was going to have to flunk out and do that great again. Like it was so much drama in my head that I could not look up to the life of me. And she really, really wanted to help me, but like, I just couldn't do it. Anyways, I don't know if the universe was like, let's give it to them. I got to see how I got to see. I have no idea. I guess, I guess real good, bitch. I got to see. And I was, I was, listen, you would have thought I won the lottery. You would have thought I was valedictorian of the damn grade, bitch. I felt so good about myself. Um, but yeah, goes to show, you know what? Sometimes you really just got to do the right thing. Um, but anyways, yeah, I thought I should share that. So I don't know how we got here, girl, from Justin Timberlake's felt career to this. I don't know how that happened. Um, but anyways, girl, um, uh, I don't know how we got here, but you know what? I'm grateful to be here with you guys. Um, but yeah, you guys, so what do you think? I mean, listen, like I said, if this is any indication of what's to come, girl, I mean, Justin, you should just stay home with Seventh Heaven and just, you know, watch your Mickey Mouse Club days and your Super Bowl performance. I had a friend who actually danced in the Super Bowl uh, with Justin Timberlake. Um, so, you know, she told me that he was actually very nice. I mean, she, she did tell me he was, I, I, I really wanted her to talk so much shit, but he was, she was like, no, he's actually very sweet. Um, that's the thing. Like he doesn't have such a bad reputation in Hollywood, like other people. So it is really, it, it boggles me how he just hasn't had the decency to just apologize. And also like his wife, Jessica Seventh Heaven Beale, you know, like telling him like hey you know what like you really should apologize like if this would have happened to me you know a validation and just an apology would be amazing and i get it i've read your comments you know we can't force anyone to apologize and you're right we can't force anyone to apologize not everyone is decent not everybody is a good human being so anyways justin good luck on your tour and and good luck on your comeback because if I have to say so myself, it's really giving Whoville. It's giving Silence of the Lamb. It's giving, you know, no talking at the movies. It's giving 
I don't know what's going on here, girl, okay? I think, honestly, like, uh, what, me looking at this cover, me looking at this cover for 45 minutes is more entertaining than your show. But that's just me, girl. Anyways, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I love you all very much. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.